Art is not a real job, it's just a You hobby. cannot do you it. You should expose. You need to can can make, make it a degree. Stop. All of these statements are completely wrong and I'm here to tell you that art is very much a real job. I've been a full-time artist for four years now and I want to let you know that with the right tools and motivation, you can make a considerable income out of it. I'm going to show you how to become a professional artist, everything you need to know to get started and this without having to go to art school. Step 1. Use YouTube as a teacher. That's how I learned everything. You have a question about how to draw something or how to create a glow effect for example? Ask YouTube. You will probably find a ton of content answering your question. Anything you need to know about art theory is out there on the internet. You will also find very interesting content about art on TikTok. There is a lot of really good content creators that have something to teach you. Something very interesting that really helped me improve my skills is color theory. Document yourself about that and your art will improve in a way you never saw coming. Step 2. Practice. You're probably fed up of hearing this, but it's a really good advice when given correctly. Practice in a good way. If you just practice bad drawing for months, you're not gonna get any results. Because you're not going to art school, you don't have a teacher to tell you when something is good or not, so you have to be that person. If you make something bad, you should ask yourself why, what makes it bad, and what you should have done to make it good. If you did good, be proud, but don't stop there. Ask yourself what makes this piece of art good and what you did learn making it so you can use this knowledge for your next pieces. Always be critical about your work. Now that you've learned the basics of art and have even started creating your own pieces, it's time to make your art visible to the world and make actual money out of it. Step 1. Don't waste your time with art galleries. Especially if you didn't go to art school and even more if you make figurative art like I do. Galleries don't want you to get money, they want them to. If what you do doesn't resemble to what they usually expose, there's a lot of chances you will be left out. Even more if you make art for the sake of aesthetics, galleries will tell you to give a meaning to what you do, so you will have to make something up just to please them. Please save yourself from all of that, it's exhausting. Even if your art does look like what galleries want, the art world is very selective, so you must have contacts to hope integrate this environment. With the internet, success is accessible to literally everyone. Step 2. Be everywhere. Be on every social media, but especially on YouTube, because this platform wants you to get views, so you can easily do it. It really is doable. This is for me the best advice on how to get money as an artist, because you can reach the largest amount of people as possible, and the more people seeing your art, the more people you will convert to clients. Now you have a YouTube channel, and you want to maximize your chances of success, right? So, you must keep these two essential advices in mind. My first advice is to do quality content. What is it? How do I do this? Well, when you make a video, you should ask yourself, would I watch that? What would make people watch my video instead of someone else's? You must provide something valuable to your audience because people watch a video because they want to gain something out of it. It may happen that your content doesn't work. If it's the case, don't be stubborn. You should make sure that the quality of your content is good enough and that the topic of your videos are something people are interested in. But unfortunately, making a really good video isn't enough to get views. You have to make sure people will click on it by working really hard on your titles and thumbnails. You should really put a lot of effort into this because it's the gateway to your video. The best video in the world wouldn't get any views if the title and thumbnail don't spark people's interest. To master them, you should document yourself about SEO. I put a link for you in the description box about that. I definitely recommend you give it a look. My second advice is consistency. You must be consistent. At the beginning, the most important is to be seen. People have to learn to like you. This process takes time because people have to be repeatedly exposed to your content and it's only possible if you are being consistent. But it does not mean posting every single day. It means finding a rhythm on which you think you are capable of posting without having a burnout. If you think you are able to post once a week, go for once a week. If you prefer once or twice a month, go for it, it's good too. The point is to stick to it. If you manage to do all that, the quality of the art itself isn't that important, because the internet is so vast that there will always be an audience for any type of art. There is always gonna be someone that loves what you do. The point is to get to them, and the internet is the only viable way to get to them. By the way, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe so I can make more helpful content like this for artists. 
Step three, start making money. There's literally a ton of incomes you can get as an artist. Selling your art is the first one. Create an Etsy shop. It's one of the best selling platforms for beginner artists because it's free to use and the cut they take on each transaction is relatively low. They will also get you clients that don't know you in addition to your social media communities. And if you have a community on social media and an Etsy shop, your art will sell by itself. Another income you can get as an artist is by selling prints of your art. And if you use a print on demand platform that makes it for you, you will experience the joy of passive incomes. It goes like this. The clients order your print, the print on demand company print it for you, send it to the clients, and you, you just get the money. It's one of the best ways to sell your art because besides you having nothing to do to get the money, your client will have access to your art for a much more attractive price than if you only sell your originals that will obviously be more expensive. Besides that, you can also be monetized on YouTube. And if your YouTube channel do well as an art channel, YouTube will pay you well. Because the more a channel is family friendly, the more the advertisers will be willing to pay. So you can make a living out of it even with a small to medium community. And you are also in great advantage compared to a gaming YouTuber, for example, because you have something to sell. So if your YouTube channel doesn't give you enough money to live, your sales probably will. And there are so much more incomes you can get as an artist that they would require a full video all about it. Tell me if you want this to be the topic for a future video. If you want to succeed, you should never stop learning how to improve. About your art, about growing a community on social media, and about making money out of your art. Because there is so much to know that it is impossible to reach a point where you know everything about these subjects. It will be a long journey. Be patient. It will take time. But if you're a busy person, and you want to grow your art skills fast? Watch my last video, I explain all about it.